All right, so today I have for you the Project Rock box duffel backpack. Now, I've already done reviews on two other Project Rock backpacks, one being the recent Pro backpack and one being the classic OG backpack. Now, both of those backpacks retailed around 180 to 200 and something dollars plus tax since I live in the greater Toronto area. And those backpacks are designed more of like a military tactical style backpack. Great for everyday use or whatever you plan on using it for. Whereas this backpack I have here today is a little lesser, cheaper, or for a different point of purpose. I know anyone can decide what they want to use a bag for, but what I'm going to use this backpack for is pretty much just quick errands and the gym. So let's keep talking about it and let's actually look at the backpack. Well, first thing we're going to look at is the tag. And on the tag, you see we have a hit of Under Armour and the Brammable Project Rock collaboration. Now, right here, you can see the liter is 30 liters in the bag. That's the size. And the price. The price is 100 Canadian. So like I mentioned before, the other Project Rock backpacks are a little more expensive. Now, size-wise, the OG is around the same. And the newer one, I believe, is 33 liters. So you're not really losing much in size. However, how the pockets in the bag is engineered is going to really determine on how you use the bag. Now, first thing also we're going to look at is the back. So here we have the straps, and they're supported very nice. They're quite padded and cushiony. So when they sit over your body, if you have weight in it, it's not going to really cut into you. Up at the top, it's stitched in quite well. I mean, it's a little thinner than the other bags, but I feel like you're not going to really overload this bag as much as you would the other ones. Then at the bottom, it's attached here slightly at the side, and you got your tightening tabs here to make it shorter or longer for you, whatever you need depending on your body size. Now on the right side here, you have a hit, it says Blood Sweat Respect with the Brammable, and you have a carrying handle. So this can be used almost like a briefcase, but the whole idea behind a duffel is you know you have the handle to carry it that way. So you don't always need to have it on your back, being a backpack. When we look at the front, you have protected strap here to give it a little bit of support. You have another carrying strap here in case you want to carry it this way. There's not one at the bottom so you can carry it this side, but if you just wanted to grab it, drag it, you got something right here. A little bit of a decoration on here. This might be the style code. And right here, you have a bunch of areas where you can click carabiners, pens, or anything you want to attach on. Add more space to the bag, possibly. I don't know. It's up to you. The possibilities are limitless. And then on the other side of the bag here, you do have a small water bottle holder, umbrella holder. It won't fit a shaker, I believe, for your protein, but at least you still have an option. You have another pocket. If we look at the back, you can see the back is quite padded. Not as padded as the other ones, but it still gives you something other than nothing. And then finally, at the front, you can see this kind of folds over. It looks a little odd. Right here is a shoe compartment. Now, normally other Under Armour backpacks would have a shoe department, compartment, whatever you want to call it, at the bottom here. This one does it at the top. And it probably has to do with how you load the bag. Now the bottom, it's about three to four inches across, so it's not the widest bag, but it's very sturdy. I don't think the bottom would ever rip through over time. Also on top of that, you're not really putting a lot of stress at the bottom of the bag here. Now, let's get into the inside of the bag. So at first, I was looking for a zipper for the inside, but really all you have is these buckles at the side that pop off and then allow you to put the shoes on the inside, as you can see. This does not go down into the bag, but it has a wide compartment here to put your sneakers in. Obviously, you don't need to put shoes in here. You could put whatever you'd like, but this is just the way it goes. Turn it around to the back, you have that sunglasses compartment at the top, like most Project Rock backpacks will. Put your sunglasses, glasses, snacks, once again, does not need to be used for that. You choose how you use it. And finally, the bottom zips around a complete 180. It has little zippers with hooks in it, well not hook circles, so you can hook your finger in and completely drop it open. Now when you drop it open, like you see, this is how deep it is. The camera doesn't give you the goodest idea, but it's about fingers width down to the knuckles. You see that? 
So about three or four inches. This part is a little annoying. If you had the sneaker compartment, it does kind of fall into it. So you'd probably have to push it out backwards like that. Who knows? I haven't used it yet, so when I use it, I will understand how that works. And then on the inside, on this side you have the laptop compartment. Like I said, 15 inch laptop. It does seem like it would fit a little larger because it's looser. You have the Velcro here, another Velcro strap, and one area here to put any of your stuff in. Hold any of your loose goods. Then finally, being the duffel bag, it's great to load in. The best thing about this bag is if you need fast access to any of your things, maybe you're a photographer with lenses. Now that's just a perfect example of what I might need to use this bag for. Say I'm out and my battery on my camera dies just like that, I could run quickly, unzip this bag and get right to it, as this duffel feature really gives you the option to get to anything you need fast. Now, the way that you pack the bag and how it's going to feel on your back weight-wise is going to depend on whether you weigh, put the weight you pack in in the bottom, the middle, or the top, or whether you carry it by the handle or whatnot. You know, this bag gives you many options to do what you want to do with what you want to put in the bag. Anyways, I hope this video was very informative for you. I hope it showed you a good insight to this bag, and I hope it answered any questions you have. Until next time, guys, take it easy.